What is going on, guys? Kevin over at Lake Bros coming back at you in another video today. We got three hauls for you. 150, 75, and 200. That's what I paid for this. This does not look like 200, does it? <laughs> We're going to see how well we did. Starts at ebay.com slash Lake Bros, where we can find this stuff. Whatnot, we're always, always over there as, well, not always, but we're over there sometimes as well. There's a marketplace now you can look at too. Um, but uh, $10 off your first purchase if you've never used that platform before. This one we might have overpaid slightly, but hopefully not. We'll see. We'll see. I do have some completion pieces, so that should help uh, on some of them. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Also, links down below for the P.O. Box and Athletic Greens. If you just want to send me some mail, say hi or whatever. Uh, first off, we do have Wolverine. There's our first ting of the day. That is about 20 bucks, And he's actually a pretty pretty easy sale, to be honest. Uh, as long as he's not cracked, which when, in that case is not. And that's good news. <laughs> I'm not going to get super happy yet. Uh, but that is good news. Uh, that part of the cape is supposed to go on top of the other part of the cape. But we do have Doctor Strange. I believe this is the first version of him, uh, which is a solid find there as well. Uh, we do have an Iron Man here. That's a pretty easy sell, but it's not super valuable. We also do have a Wookiee that is not Chewbacca. It does have the arm band there as well. Don't know what the value of that guy is by himself. Usually I make like Wookiee lots with those guys. Uh, we do have a Kashyyyk Scout. Unfortunately, he is cracked. We'll just replace his torso. I have plenty of those. Uh, another Iron Man version that's kind of meh. Uh, here is the Mark, what is that, Mark 1 or something to that effect. Uh, kind of goes down there. I think that's for the Hall of Armor. Here's our first big ting of the day. Yes, the other one I found was cracked. So uh, I'm really happy to get one of these guys. Reverse Flash or I think Zoom is, everybody always comments that I'm wrong when I say that. But Reverse Flash is what they call it on BrickLink, I believe. Uh, we also have Corvus Glaive. Uh, does not have those legs normally. We have to get a cape for him, but he will be a $35 fig as well. I think this guy's 50 to 75, somewhere in there. We also do have K2SO, which is awesome. Does not have his legs, which is unfortunate, but I think I did order a couple of those, so we'll see. Uh, Captain America, not much there. A Thor. We also have Even Peel. Is he cracked? He is not, which is great. He's gone up quite a bit. Uh, the dark brown always cracks, so... Uh, Super Mandalorian just needs a jetpack and a different face. We will make a $30 fig out of that as well. This one's not too bad. This one's not too bad. Uh, we do have a Django Fett. The arm is cracked, but the torso is not. Uh, I'll be put a correct head on him and also the correct legs and stuff, and that will make a $60 minifigure right there as well. Uh, we do also have a hover tank pilot, which is about 10 to 15, somewhere in there. Really kind of mid-value. Uh, some of these are actually pretty good with the comma and the backpack. Uh, this is the wrong wrong helmet for that guy. Uh, we have Magneto. Where's the Deadpool? That's what I want to know. Uh, Magneto is the least valuable from the uh, Wolverine Magneto uh, Deadpool set. We also have Krang with the little pink headpiece down there. Uh, here is a Boba Fett. Oh, there's Django's, Django's legs. Don't crack the torso. Don't crack the torso. But there's Django's legs. That always helps out. More and more pieces to complete. They were just a little switcheroo right there, because I think that actually is his legs, uh, if I'm thinking about it. Senate Commando, there's a uh, technician. We have Teenage Groot here, a Republic Trooper, and also a Utapau. Oh, look, he's got a helmet too. Look at that. Look at that. Things are coming together. Uh, I'm trying to remember whose head that is. Not that, guys. <laughs> we have on Solo, Spider-Man, some City Figs, and some random stuff to go right there. Not bad. Not bad. I'm pleased with that haul. I'm pleased with that haul. This one, I decided to give a chance. This seller previously, I used to buy a ton of stuff from him, uh, and then stuff started smelling like cigarettes. I don't know if it's just because he was getting stuff from thrift stores or from, like, garage sales and then selling it. Um, so I just gave him another try. I was like, eh, this one looked cool enough to... Uh, to venture out and give another try, and I don't smell any smoke, so that's good. That's good news. I might actually end up purchasing more in the future if I know that that's the, that's the case, because uh, we have a whole bunch of knights and pirates. We do have another haul here uh, as well, so if knights and pirates are not your thing, either skip this uh, or just hang on for a little bit. Uh, we do have a blue coat, uh, just a breastplate. We'll go through these pretty quick because most of them are going to be pretty similar. Here is an old gray helmet, which is fantastic. Uh, those are very, very, very hard to find nowadays. Uh, so that's, we'll just put the, the helmet up there. <laughs> Doesn't go on that guy anyways. Uh, there's a crown knight. We also do have another blue coat. Blue coats are fantastic. I love them. I sell them very easily. Uh, they also, with the epaulets there as well, those are always 
awesome to find. Look at all these, look at all these blue coats. Uh, we also do have a Knit American. Those are fantastic as well. Uh, none of these are like ting worthy, but they're all like 10 bucks a piece uh, when you get like knights and, and uh, imperials and certain types of pirates and stuff like that. Uh, they all end up like 10 bucks a piece, so they just add up really quickly. They're, none of them are like fantastic on their own, but like this is probably a $10 minifigure plus. Uh, and these guys go for 10 bucks all day. Uh, as long as they're in good shape and, and whatnot. So uh, we also have a red coat, of course, to go against the, the uh, blue coats. There's just a breastplate knight. There's another breastplate knight. There's a pirate with the gold tooth, of course. Old school pirate with a blue. I've never seen the blue hat without print before. Huh. I'm going to have to look up what that came from because I have no idea. I've never seen a blue one. It, did, it was real, right? Yeah. Never seen a blue one without printing. That's kind of cool. I don't have to look up what that came from. It's probably probably nothing, but <laughs> we also have a bandit and another one. I think this one actually might be somewhat valuable uh, from the Native Americans. I haven't looked it up in a while. The original brick beard with the old gray hook. Awesome pig right there. Uh, nothing much there. Another Native American. We got a whole bunch of Native Americans, which is really cool. There is another blue coat and another blue coat, and most importantly, the Admiral's hat, which is so hard to find. Put that on an Admiral. There's a ting right there for you if you want a, a valuable figure. Uh, the Chief. Oh, and the headpiece as well. Wrong torsos, of course, but I will make a uh, I will make an Admiral out of that one. Or a governor. I don't remember which one the blue one is. More blue coats. Look at this. Blue coats and red coats. Just such easy sells. People make old pirate armies and stuff like that. Black falcons. Everything looked like it was in really good shape, uh, which is awesome as well. The prints and everything like that. Knights just, uh, knights have a, a way to my heart. So <laughs> if I find a good deal on knights, you know that I will be taking that deal. Uh, do we have a room on the side? I think we do. $75 is what this next one was. Uh, looks like there might be a note inside. Oh, it's just a, it's a business card. Uh, all right. I was all excited about a note. Who do you think you are? So, I think I'm a big deal sometimes. <laughs> there is a creepy cat. Brickhead? Give that to my children or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see what else. 75 bucks. 75 buckaroos is what this one cost. Ooh, I just saw why I paid 75 bucks for this one. Hopefully there's more than just that, but I did just see it. I did just see it. Did you guys see it? Do you, do you see it? Just look at this pile. I'll give you a chance. You can see it from the camera angle. I just looked. Uh, we also do have a hobgoblin. That's a fairly decent one. Not super, super valuable, but fairly decent. Uh, there's another iron skull right there. We got a shark. I'm not going to mix those guys. I'll keep those separate. Uh, we got a shark. Those guys can... Shark can go in there. That's fair enough. And a boat. That fits. Uh, our princess from CMF. Here's our scary pirate from CMFs as well. We have a carnage. Superman. Why am I still doing... I'm still mixing them. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still doing it. Uh, what is this? It looks old gray. There's an old uh, Ron... Okay. Ron in disguise. I actually did go there. Interesting. Uh, that's a fake helmet. We'll put that over there. Uh, and also, look at this. Draco. Old school Draco. Probably came in the same set, I would imagine. Uh, they had the Ron, Harry, and Draco. <laughs> My kids are going to love that. Uh, hopefully all the other pieces are in there. It's like a little pug. <laughs> that's kind of cool. This is the reason... Right here, Quick Silver. He is in great condition as well. Awesome. 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 Right there. Quick Silver is one of the hardest superheroes to find, for sure. Uh, we also do have Ayala Sakira, which is a great fig. Just needs the headpiece, and we'll put one of those together. Uh, some pieces of Harley Quinn and things like that. I'm still putting things in here, aren't I? <laughs> I'm the worst. Uh, this guy's a knight, so he actually can go in there. Uh, Garmadon and some knight legs. We'll put knight legs in there. More knight pieces and snake. What else we got? Ooh, this is Mary Jane, and that torso is not cracked. We will be able to make a fig out of that. Wrong headpiece, of course, but Mary Jane is a great fig, and also an Ant-Man uh, right there. Do you have a dark suit Captain America? That's decent, not too bad. Uh, some of these actually do pretty well. That's like the Cyclops of that one. 
Uh, we have a Pythor Chumsworth body with a possibly Scalador headpiece. Always have to remember which one's which. Yellow Jacket, that's a good one. Uh, Miles Morales, not bad, not bad. Uh, here is Hank Pym. He, he's just a little dirty. Wrong leg piece as well, but we have plenty of those. Uh, I've never seen that Minecraft fig before. <laughs> That's not surprising. I don't just specifically go buy Minecraft lots, so it's not surprising when I see those. We got a uh, Super Bart and a uh, Frankenstein. What else? What else? Lego? Not Lego? Hard to say. It's hard to say on that one. This is the second time I've gotten this. I don't know where this came from. Um, some kind of statue. Second time I've gotten one of those recently, though. And hadn't ever gotten one, and then this is the second time. Kind of matches. Captain America with the, uh, what, Hero Factory face or something like that uh, is what that one is. Two-tone leg Spider-Man. This guy's pretty cool. <laughs> I think that's Vitruvius. Uh, if I was a betting man, <clears throat> I'd say most of that is Vitruvius. Not much else in here, to be honest. Uh, just some just some buildable figs. Uh, ooh, leg piece. Nice. Just need the hair piece now. The tentacles. Just need the tentacles. And then we're good. That's not Lego. Uh, otherwise, not much else to go. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, he's going to pay for most of that, so. That's a win. That's a win. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Will Kevin Make His Money Back? Hopefully, and then some. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. We did get some fake stuff, uh, which was... Well, no, that was, a, that was a different haul, wasn't it? That guy came out. He was on the side of my desk. Uh, <laughs> when you get some stuff like this. Um, yeah, comment below what your favorite one was. Hopefully you guys had a good time. I love you. And I'll catch you on the next one.